Defined benefits and safeguarded benefits. What you should be doing and what to avoid. In our previous video, we went through the five things any individual seeking pension transfer advice must do first. In this video, we go through the essential next two steps to ensure the best outcome for you and your pension in retirement. Step two, ask your pension scheme trustees for a CETV or cash equivalent transfer value. Contact the trustees to retain a CETV. It may be that additional information will be required, so keep in contact with your advisor through this process. Make sure your advisor is the one giving advice and the one that signs it off. Step three, do not discuss your important pension details with a person who's providing a report from someone else you have never spoken with. Your report should be specific to your pension scheme and your objectives. It should contain advice as to whether a transfer will meet your objectives and discuss your expenditure and needs in retirement. You should also have a discussion about risk and your understanding of it and whether a transfer is within your acceptance of risk. This is not just investment risk, it is the risk of a transfer from guaranteed benefits. The report should have full costs and charges of the recommended products and the fees for the advice. Cash flow assists understanding of benefits or losses. What should not be in the report? If a payment is contingent upon your transferring only, this is not good and encourages the advisor to recommend a transfer. Generalizations about pensions that are not suited to your specific objectives are often misleading. A recommendation to transfer into an insurance bond should raise concerns about charges. A recommendation to transfer into a CureOps or international SIP without making it absolutely clear of the benefits for example, a CureOps recommendation to avoid the LTA when there is no chance of your fund getting close to it. People are often told to take the risk of transferring and are then told to invest in low risk or structured guaranteed products. In the next video, we take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of each option.